In this example, we're going to find the limit of this function using L'Hopital's theorem. Okay. Um, so you can see here the on the right here is the graph of the function. So we can um, check a result okay, using uh, just by looking at the graph. Okay, so let's first do a uh, direct substitution. So plugging in or letting x go to infinity, we're going to get e to the infinity minus e to the minus infinity divided by uh, e to the infinity plus e to the minus infinity. So e to the minus infinity, those uh, those parts will go to zero. Okay, so you're left with e to the infinity over e to the infinity. Okay. So basically you get e to the infinity, which is infinity over and then divide by infinity. So this is an indeterminate value. Um, so now we need to apply L'Hopital's theorem. Okay. Right, so, so if we do that, okay, we take the derivative to the top and bottom, okay, we're going to get e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by uh, the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x, and derivative of e to the minus x, which is minus e to the negative x. So again, uh, applying, applying or letting x go to infinity, we are going to get uh, e to the infinity divided by e to the infinity. Again, e to the minus x goes to zero as x approaches infinity, so you get infinity over infinity. Okay, so again, let's apply L'Hopital's rule. So you get e to the x minus e to the negative x. So that's taking the derivative of the numerator, then we take the derivative of the denominator. So you get e to the x plus e to the minus x. All right, so if you notice, we get back to this, we get back to where we started from. Okay, so this was the original limit that we had. Okay. This was the original function. So when this happens, um, we need to take a, uh, we need to take a different approach, obviously. Otherwise, this is just going to continue happening. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, original limit that we had. So let's just look at the function for now. So we have e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x. Okay, so what we can do here is we can um, rewrite this algebraically as e to the x minus 1 over e to the x divided by e to the x plus 1 over e to the x. Okay, And then what we can do, uh, we can go ahead and multiply the top and bottom by e to the x. And that will give us, when we distribute this, okay, that's going to give us uh, e to the 2x minus 1 divided by e to the 2x plus 1, okay? So now, let's work on this part here. So I'm just going to scroll down. Okay, so the limit, let's write this a little bit more down, make some space here. So the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the 2x minus 1 divided by e to the 2x plus 1. So again, uh, we're going to get infinity over infinity. So we need to apply L'Hopital's rule. So take the derivative of the top and bottom. So we get uh, 2e to the 2x divided by the derivative of the bottom will be it will also be 2e to the 2x. So then we get the limit as x approaches infinity. Uh, e to the 2x will cancel out. Actually, the 2s will also cancel out. So we get the limit of 1. So the limit of a constant, no matter what x is approaching, will always be that constant. In this case, it's going to be 1. 
Therefore, okay, the limit as x approaches infinity of the original function e to the x minus e to the negative x divided by e to the x uh, plus e to the minus x is equal to 1. And that we, that's what we see here in this graph. So as x approaches infinity, the graph will approach, uh, gets closer and closer to 1.